Well, if you've just finished watching the debate, then maybe you missed this last snippet that took place at the end where Bernie Sanders tried to shake Elizabeth Warren's hand and she denied him a handshake. Take a look. Now, if you'll notice, towards the end, she shook Pete Buttigieg's hand, but she didn't want to shake Bernie Sanders' hand. Petty. Disgusting. And she's doing this when the entire debate, she preached unity. What a great showing of unity, Liz. Now, for those of you who are curious, yes, I will have a full post-debate breakdown on the channel tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific time. But for now, I just wanted to talk about this because it's something that's new and everyone is reacting to it. And I'm honestly, I'm shocked by it. Like, look at this picture from July when her and Bernie Sanders were teaming up to take on centrists like John Delaney, and now all of a sudden, Elizabeth Warren is trying her hardest to throw him under a bus and hurt him. Now, I'll have a separate video on that dispute between Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, but for now, I mean, let's just really take in how disgusting this is, how low Elizabeth Warren was willing to stoop, denying Bernie Sanders a handshake. Let's watch that one more time. Now, I absolutely hope that if anyone interviews Bernie or Warren or Tom Steyer, that we get to know what they were talking about because they had an exchange that seemed heated and it looked like it didn't end well there. So I hope that we learn about what specifically they were talking about. Obviously, it was, you know, this spat that they've been having that was initiated by Elizabeth Warren because she's obviously getting desperate. But I mean, what do you say about this? What do you say about this? Elizabeth Warren is the definition of a fake friend, right? Her and Bernie Sanders had this truce to not attack each other, and all of a sudden, now when she's down in the polls, she's trying to eat into Bernie's numbers. But I don't think this is going to work. I think that this backfired. And even if the pundit class is saying that she did great during this debate, like CNN's post-debate analysis, they loved what Elizabeth Warren said by basically sidestepping all of the controversy that she created. This is not going to help Elizabeth Warren. And at a time when Joe Biden is still very much the front runner, the fact that she's focusing all of her energy on Bernie Sanders and smearing him and lying about him I mean, it goes to show you that she is not an ally to progressives. Elizabeth Warren is not your friend. And I get the feeling after watching this debate and what has transpired over the last couple of days that Elizabeth Warren and Joe Biden must have formed some type of pact to not attack each other going into Iowa because maybe he offered her a VP slot. She probably sees that the writing is on the wall. She's not going to win most likely. And Joe Biden has a better shot, so maybe she just chose to form some sort of agreement. We know, according to reports, that she was in talks with Hillary Clinton to be VP. But Hillary Clinton was just dragging her along so she wouldn't endorse Bernie Sanders during the primary. And Elizabeth Warren made that miscalculation. She made this miscalculation. And I mean, how many times... Will she keep making mistakes and doing things that shows progressives that she's not with us until everyone collectively realizes that Elizabeth Warren is not who we thought she was? I mean, fool us once, shame on you. Fool us twice, shame on us. But I mean, she's been consistently spitting in our eyes and now she is attacking Bernie Sanders and directing all of her energy towards him and on national television at the end of the debate. She refused to shake his hand because she decided that he's the one that is the great threat that needs to be taken down. It's absolutely disgusting. And even though, you know, Elizabeth Warren, she betrayed my trust in 2016 when she refused to endorse Bernie. She chose Hillary over Bernie. You know, I, I tried to put that behind me. And at the same time, I was very skeptical about her still. Um, but this is lower than even I thought 
you know, my expectations for Elizabeth Warren were relatively low, but she is even proving me wrong with how low she's willing to go. Like, it's honestly unfathomable that she, of all people, would relate to this. Like, someone who theoretically should be the only ally on that stage to Bernie Sanders, she did him the worst. She's shiving him. And she's preaching unity. Yeah. Well, if you want unity, Elizabeth Warren, if you're truly serious about uniting both wings of the party, once again, you just planted your feet firmly in the establishment's circle. You showed us again that you're not with us. You showed us that you're willing to throw your friend under a bus if it means that it might help you out, but yet you claim during this debate, hilariously so, that politics isn't everything. Yeah. You can't be trusted. Um, Elizabeth Warren doesn't realize what she just did. She has betrayed progressives for the last time. I promise you that. She has burnt this bridge permanently. And as far as I'm concerned, Elizabeth Warren is, uh, she's done. Like, she is not going to get the support of progressives. Like, it's not going to happen. She can't continue to spit in our faces and then expect us to support her. I'm sorry. You already backed away from Medicare for All and abandoned progressives, but now it's like you're pouring salt in the wounds. Like, I'm sick of it. This is disgusting. Elizabeth Warren is way petty. And whenever she talks about, you know, being above the fray and we're about unity, understand that she's not serious about it. This proves it.